Hey, any fish? 19th of September, 2018. It's been like a week of not wanting to look at the world, quite frankly. Uh, getting a little tired of this place. But nonetheless, you know, we do our due diligence. Keep seeking the Lord because the times are upon us. Um, but this stuff was really interesting. It just led to uh, something that I'm not sure what it means, but it's definitely something. Uh, it started with this article here about Nikki Haley doing a dinner uh, last night saying that our opponents are not evil, meaning the political divide, okay? All the harsh rhetoric. And they were joking and laughing all night long. She was making fun of Trump, but she highly regards him. Uh, Trump is definitely a key factor in all of this. Uh, but she's talking about the evil around the world, but how it's not like that here in America. You know, around the world they use rape as a weapon of war, or chemical weapons, or they torture people. Um, but here in America, that doesn't happen. No, sir. It's all good here in America. She learned that at the UN there's 193 member nations, but 180 of them basically hate us on any given day. And I find it interesting that there's a 13 member difference there. 13 of all numbers, right? So Haley, Trump, they're not evil, okay? She's, she's not thinking that any of the people in this country are evil. Not at all, right? In fact, for these people still run around right there in Washington, D.C., even considered to be some of the most influential people in Washington, D.C. But no, no, this evil doesn't exist. It only exists in other countries, right? So there's that. Now, at the same time, right, this is just crazy stuff. Haley's talking about, you know, not being evil. And at the same time, we got this meteor showers, the Orion... Orionid meteor showers, which are the debris from Halley's Comet. Which I just, I mean, that's crazy because that's today at the same time that she's talking about don't be evil, right? And there's a lot to this. There is a lot to this. Do you know what I'm saying? How, how could that possibly be? If you really think about it, it's on... 1019, which is a 911, right? Orion. Remember Orion sat there on the uh, White House lawn? <laughs> Remember that? On the 23rd of July, Orion was sitting on the White House lawn, which incidentally, on the 23rd of July, you know what else happened on that day? The boulder fell out of the Western Wall. And on top of all of that, right, we know how Trump in the uh, gematria, Trump is 88, correct? Well, July 23rd just happens to be 88 days ago from today, the 19th of October. Now, that's just weird, 2,112 hours. Uh, so, I have to share this stuff, but I just keep jesus in my heart in all things it's like because this war is upon us right now the 88 that struck me as interesting again too because if we look up the 88 in the strongs right it is check this out this is very interesting because it says a lot okay 88 is the plural of h178 water skins oboth the place in the desert the plural of h178 what is H178? Obey. Okay. It's from the same as H1, the father. Okay. The chief. But it's through the idea of prattling a father's name. Properly a mumble. Okay. Hence, a necromancer, a ventriloquist, a familiar spirit. Do you understand what that is? 
Do you know what a necromancer is? A necromancer is the conjurer of the spirits of the dead for purposes of magically revealing the future or influencing the course of events. Magic. Sorcery. That's what these people are. They're magicians and sorcerers. And they serve their father, the devil. Some not so bad, you know? If you're not in Christ, you can only serve one master. Think about it. And this divide is upon us. This is, this is just serious business, you guys. The spiritual warfare is emerging ever so quickly. And you need to make a choice, all right? And like all things, you know, I always ask for a Bible verse to give me, you know, some confirmation. And this is what I pull up. Romans 6.11. Another 9.11. And, and I'm not done. Wait till you see this, right? Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin. Okay? What are we just talking about? The, the, the evil ones. But alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. It's the only way. So on 10-19, 9-11, I see these things about Haley and about Haley's Comet which happens to be 88 days, be, this is just crazy. I mean, seriously, I'm just trying to piece this stuff together as best I can, but it illustrates the spiritual war. You understand? The, the, the sorcerers, the ventriloquists, <laughs> I mean, think about it. So I get this, this Bible verse confirmation, right? And I literally ask for another one. I, I hardly ever ask for another one, but I do sometimes. So I do. And get a load of this. This is just amazing to me. Ecclesiastes 2, 9 through 11. 9, 11, 9, 11. I was great and increased with more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. This is Solomon. And my wisdom remained with me. Whatever my eyes desired, I kept them not from it. I withheld not my heart from any joy. My heart rejoiced in all my labor. And this was my portion of all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought, and on the labor that I had labored to do. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit. And there was no profit under the sun. That speaks volumes you need Jesus folks so this one hit me pretty pretty steeply too the 9-11s are just off the hook so one thing I never do I mean I maybe have done this once or twice before but I I actually asked for a third scripture confirmation and I got Isaiah 55 verse 6 which is an 1111. That's what it is. But the verse is the most important thing. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Do you understand? Because time is short. Reckon ye also yourselves to be dead unto sin. Repent from this world of sorcerers and magicians. Okay? Because that's all it is, folks. This is the devil's world. If you're not in Christ, covered in his blood, you will be deceived. Period. So seek Jesus. First, foremost, and always. Okay? So, I had to share this stuff with you. I just thought that was crazy. That Haley speaking about, we're not evil, as the Haley Comet debris is passing <laughs> its peak tonight on 1019. Okay, so I hope you see all this stuff. I don't know what else to tell you. 88 days ago, the stone fell out of the West Wall in Jerusalem. They just closed down the consulate 
to the Palestinians in Jerusalem. Trump did, okay? Trump, 88, right? The stone fell out of the wall 88 days ago. I'm just saying, this is, this is the kind of stuff I see. So I, I can only put it out there, you know, just pray for discernment on what this may or may not mean. I do not know. Uh, I can tell you that it is pointing to uh, an event, an event of spiritual nature primarily, but it will manifest into the natural. And I believe it may still have to do with the financial uh, realm because that's where the control center lies. You control the money, you control the people. And they're about to bring in their new system. It's just uh, going to happen. So seek ye the Lord while he may still be found. Please consider this. Consider all these things. And know that you're in the end times. And time is short. Don't believe these necromancers. Oh, and it just so happens that they're also having a giant hex. Uh, giving, you know, all these witches to put a hex on this judge, as well as many others. And at the same time, the Catholics are doing an exorcist to counteract it. And both of them are blind, naked. It's just unbelievable. But, you know, there it is, right in front of us. Unreal. So I thought I'd share it. I had to. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Love you all. I truly do. You know, let's all remember where our feet are, first and foremost. And spread the gospel where we are at all times. I'm starting to do a little more local stuff here, too. So, it's very fulfilling. Gives you a good balance. But always keep Jesus in your heart. Okay? Because... The times are evil, and these tricksters are really good at their magic and sorcery. So, always be in the spirit, okay? It's just the way it is. It's a wicked world, folks, but God is good, and he's good all the time. He gave us Jesus, a way out. So, knock at the door. He'll answer, okay? Y'all have a good day. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 